Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dow High Charger homecoming game here at Midland Community Stadium. This is Dave Marsh bringing you today's action along with Frank Aldemore. And uh, as the crowd files in, coach, for this homecoming game, you get the band, uh, the pom-pommers, uh, just the excitement, the electricity in the air, and uh, just looking to see... Uh, to see what takes place here down on the field in a few minutes. Well, Dave, when you have a homecoming game and you try to schedule it, you try to go one of two ways. One, a game you know you can win, and one that's going to be a great game that fans are going to enjoy and it's a good opponent. Well, tonight, this is a game that Dow should win. Their opponent, Arthur Hill, which has a, has a wonderful history of athletics, is 0-6. They're last in the off they're last in offense in the league. They're next to last in defense. They've only scored 41 points. Now, Dow thinks it's a bad game if they score 41 yeah, points in a right, game. Right, yeah. Uh, and, but they do have some pretty good players. They have a, a, a sophomore quarterback, Samarian Foster, and his brother, Malik Foster, is, is their primary running back. So what's going to happen tonight is a lot of kids are going to get to play. Uh, Dow should win the game and prepare itself next week to play Carmen Ainsworth uh, for the league title. Well, uh, on um, on tap for Dow, hopefully tonight, 5-1 and one coming in. A victory tonight secures yet another playoff spot for Coach Jason Watkins and his Chargers. And so we'd really like to get that, that goal under their belt after Absolutely. tonight for sure. Um, Dow having a Terrific season. Their only blemish, a lost uh, overtime loss to Bay City Central. And, uh, but, be, but beyond that one, Dow is uh, really having an outstanding year. And uh, as uh, we prepare for the game, Coach, uh, what do you see as the keys to our game tonight? Well, let's take a look at Arthur Hill first. Arthur Hill has to limit their turnovers. It's just been awful this year for them. And then... I think for them to win, they have to keep going for the big play. Just throw the ball down the field, allow your athleticism to, uh, their receivers are bigger than Dow's defenders. Maybe they can go up and get a ball. And finally, I think they have to play strong pass defense. Uh, if, if, they, if they allow Dow to run all over the field, Dow will roll up their points in the first half. Now for Dow, number one, you have a sophomore quarterback. You must put pressure on him and keep him under control. Score early and often. And I, I always believe this. When you're playing a bad team, do not let them get momentum. Uh, put your pedal to the metal and keep on going. And this is the one point Dow needs to work on the hardest this year, and that is third down production. They are, they are very good on first and second down, but when they get into that third down, they've, they've been stymied at different times during the year. So this would be a good chance to work on that. Dow High um, is a pretty balanced attack. They are, they do prefer the pass, at least based on yardage, 740 yards rushing coming in, uh, 1,266 passing. And uh, Dow has had recent history of some great quarterback play, Brandon Sklenar, Sklenar Brandon Miller, Alec Marty, and of course, uh, Bruce Mann the last couple years and a different approach this year coach with uh, kind of the two-headed monster at quarterback. The, uh, well it's interesting the two quarterbacks are uh, Shane Eistrike and Ben Zeitler and together they are almost at the top of the league in passing. So the, the schedule has worked for them the program has worked for them they're happy with it. Zeitler is an outstanding defensive back and uh, and and Shane is doing a very good job as a junior quarterback in his first taste of varsity play. So, yeah, it's uh, – but here's an interesting thing. Uh, A-Strike has 64% completion, and Zeitler has a 74% yeah, that's completion. Yeah, uh, that's impressive. Now that's impressive. Yeah, so we're going to uh, – Head it down to the field here in a moment for uh, Dow High performing our marching band. Very impressive seeing all those white uniforms out there filling the field. The Dow High marching band, one of the best in the state. And uh, 
I always love when they form that block D out there as they did in the pregame. And so uh, join us now for our national anthem. And sing with the band as we honor our country. As Mr. Gary Burgess conducts the Charger Marching Band, an alumni band on the Star Spangled Banner. Another great job by the Dow High Marching Band. And um, um, we were talking about the, the quarterback play. Uh, A-Strike uh, does more of the passing. 60 has thrown for uh, 86 times for 55 complete, 64%. 750 yards, um, very impressive. 10 TDs, only two interceptions. Zeitler, meanwhile, you mentioned coach, 74%, 415 yards. Seven TDs, only one interception. So combined, 17 touchdowns, only three picks. Right. right. I mean, they've done a great job. You know who's really impressing me this year? Nick Soraki, his junior. He's rushed for 400 yards. He has uh, has passed receptions for 400 yards. Uh, pretty much an all-purpose player and, and a, an integral part of this Dow offense. And I'm, I'm more and more impressed as the season goes on with his quickness and more important his ability to make players miss so uh, as the season goes on we get this last third of the season which is an important third of the season because I, I would always tell our teams remember you're playing the first two-thirds of the season for the last third it gets you in the position to win championships and get you into the playoffs but as you can see right here uh, next week, I believe Dow will be playing Carmen Ainsworth for their league championship or share of it. Uh, the week after that, Dow plays Midland for the city right. championship, and after that are playoffs. So yeah. you're playing the last third of the season, you're hopefully, for championships. Siraki, so number 16. Uh, not real big, 5'10", 155-pound junior. Um, but we'll keep our eye on him today as he's uh, having a great year. Back deep to receive for Dow is uh, number five, Chase Perry. He's the in uh, the deep center. That's Soraki on the far side, um, also deep for Dow. I'm waiting for Chase Perry to break out. I uh, He and Mativa are two of my breakout players. Looks like almost an onside kick and uh, recovered by Dow. I don't know if it was intended to be an onside kick, but um, good, uh, nice heads up play by the Chargers to recover. Uh, just fall on the ball and not let it get loose. I believe that was uh, Cody Hunt on the recovery. I so, think it was a miss. Yeah, I, it, it looked, looked like that way. The guy, he put a lot of oomph into that <laughs> kick. <laughs> Yeah. I think it was a miss, and, and this is uh, exactly what Dow wants. Great field position right in the middle. First uh, and goal, or uh, excuse me, first and 10 from the, their own 47 to start the game. A strike, 6'4", junior quarterback. A little, little Statue of Liberty type, and there goes Soraki, who you talked about. First play, still on his feet. Big gain deep into Arthur Hill territory in the very first play. It's kind of that little... Delay draw where he 
brings the ball oh. back into his belly, and uh, Siraki took off. All the way down to the 19-yard line. It's a little bit of trickery, but it's 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 not trick. Here, here we go. Watch Siraki. He'll turn around. The ball be tackled in here. There's the delay right there. Huge hole. And a great run. Good downfield blocking. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. A strike. Rolls to his left. Fires and is broken up. Nice defensive play by uh, the Arthur Hill defensive back. That's... Uh, no, uh, no number three on the program, so. Offsides, uh, Arthur Hill. Oh, boy. Oh, no, they, they. Oh, yep, they're, so Dom certainly will take that penalty. So the good defensive play nullified. It'll bring up first and five for the Chargers. Those are the mistakes Arthur Hill just cannot afford to make. Give Dow some free yardage and free plays. Especially when it was a, a very good defensive coverage. So Rocky, one of the setbacks, I believe, and Hunt. The strike rolls to the left, a little shovel pass. A lot of room to run. And he drives ahead. Actually, that's uh, D Brennan Doyle, excuse me, number 22, out of the backfield. That little shovel pass, it will go down as a pass. And Doyle all the way down to the two-yard line, Dow knocking on the door. Okay, here we go. Little, little option look, comes down the line, and he goes out here and comes right back behind it. And there's that little pass right there. Pretty clever. Nice play. See... To a lot of people, these are trick plays. To Dow, they're just everyday it's plays. the offense. And now the beast is in the play. Matiba's in. But Takes they're going to give hand it to Siraki. Off and Siraki. Whoa, nice I tackle. I don't think he made it. I don't either. Looked like he had the hole momentarily. I think that's Malik Foster on the tackle. He's a number four. Simple handoff up in the line. And... Again, came across. That's a heck of a play by number yeah, four. Yeah, he came pretty strong. And so they switch it up. Zeitler now in at quarterback number eight. He's going under center. Quarterback sneak, drives ahead, and touchdown. Yeah. And so lickety split now marches down the field. 53 yards on four plays. Watch the push here. Watch the push right there. See, to me, 34 is in the game. He's going to get the ball. He is the player. Matiba, sophomore, 6'2", 230. Extra point is good for Dow, and uh, just... Uh, uh, a minute and 40 into the game, and Dow is on top 7 nothing. That looked pretty easy, Coach. Well, you give them good field position. They run the Statue of Liberty play down to the 20, 15, and then you get a penalty, and then another little shovel pass gets it down to the 1, and just as fast as can be, you got 7 points. I think we're going to see more of the same tonight, unfortunately. The Arthur Hill has some talented players, but when you only dress 22, yeah, you know you're just not. There's just not enough there. You mentioned a good push um, for Dow, the center, 73, Aaron Galvin, six foot 275. With uh, that's what um, Zeitler just followed him right into the end zone, just uh, cleared the path. Also, uh, in the O line. 62, Shane Oscovaric um, on the line. Aiden Belgiorno, number 65. Nathan Benchley, number 68. One with Galvin, number 73 on that old line. So Dow kicks off, nice long boot all the way down to the two yard line. Arthur Hill fields it, 
And uh, it's about to the 16 in Metawalla Green. Very good coverage on the part of Dow. Very good coverage. Andre Jackson was on the return for the Chargers, or excuse me, for the Lumberjacks. Number 84, senior. So we'll see what uh, the Dow High defense can do here on their first possession. I mentioned uh, Zamarian Foster, number two, is the Arthur Hill quarterback. Balik. Zamer I'm sorry, Zamarian Foster. Yeah, Zamarian. Malik Foster is the running back. He's number correct. four. 44%. Uh, he's thrown for 589 yards and one touchdown. Scoring has been an issue for the Lumberjacks this year. Quick sl sl uh, slant pattern and uh, way overthrown. Looking for Jackson and uh, tried a quick slant. Probably a good idea to try to keep uh, the quarterback clean, but uh, way well overthrown. Bring up a second and 10. Um, 18. Malik Foster is a leading rusher for Arthur Hill. 307 yards, 4.3 yards per carry, one touchdown. Number 13, Cameron Wilson is their top receiver with 10 catches on the year. Handoff. Plows ahead for a couple yards. Oscar on the tackle, number 62. He's a two-way player. Now has quite a few two-way players. Dow does. And I'm not surprised at that. Uh, that's something they've been doing for the last couple of years. Used to be, you know, you had two platoon systems and you said, okay, uh, we once had a rule we're gonna play 33 players every game. Well, that was a lot. 28 was a good number. Uh, 16 is not a good number. It's hard to replace a two-way player. Mr. Hill, because most of their players playing both ways. Going deep, and uh, Foster looking for his brother. Foster incomplete, good coverage. Uh, Sam Kwiatkowski-Martin on their coverage. Well, so far, our two keys for Dow, pressure the quarterback and score early and often are, uh, yeah. and I would say right here, they're gonna need good field position. So Doty is back deep to receive the punt. Short snap, hits the ground. He's going to try to run it. He's got a long way to go. And uh, not much doing there. Try to get something out of nothing, but uh, um, punter Nehemiah Jones maybe got a couple yards, but Dow in great position again. During our pregame discussion, we said, you know, special teams could result in a lot of, a lot of points, could be a big factor. And right there, Dow, uh, actually the kickoff put him in good, uh, good spot position. and this now even better here. You know, you get the ball inside the 20 yard line to start with, inside their 20 yard line. This is where Dow will probably go for the strike. Rolling right, a strike. He's looking deep, looking, 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 throws it, and it is broken up. Might have waited a little too long to this unload. Is, this has been one of the problems when you do that rollout is that you bring everybody with you. So, you know, if you want to throw it deep, you got to throw it away if it's no good. In this case right here, he went, stretched himself out. Really, there's a certain point where you got to say to yourself, I'm not throwing it. I've got to run it. And he reached he reached beyond that point. He went from left to hash all the way beyond the right hash. Second and 10, Chargers. There's that little Statue of Liberty again. And Doyle is off to the races. And he is in the end zone for a touchdown. What a run. 
Nice job by Brennan Doyle at the uh, favored play, that little Statue of Liberty delay. And uh, again, this is, this is their play right here. And you'll see the hole that's gonna open up right here. So it really looks like a quickness. Brennan Doyle has tremendous quickness. There's that little sneaky little play. Good blocking at the point of attack all the way through. And now watch the effort by Doyle to get in the end zone here. He's just going to push, 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 reach that arm across, and yeah. he's in. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah, he, that's a guy that knows where the green is, and he wanted it, and he got it. His third touchdown on the season for Brennan Doyle. He's just a junior. Well, we're three minutes into the game, and Dow has got two touchdowns. There's a, I have a bad feeling the Arthur Hill Foster may may be re ejected from the game. There's a late flag um, around the goal line after the play was over. And the way Foster as acting through his helmet, that is not a good sign for Arthur Hill. Officials are discussing it. Talking to James Comer, the head coach about it. And he has been has been ejected, didn't he? They're still discussing how to administer this. So it must not be a dead ball if he believes Dow will decline it. See the Dow High fans. Join the start and always a vibrant student section for the Chargers. Extra well, point for by Zach Kuhn is up and good. That's a big, big loss for Arthur Hill because they haven't got anybody that's even close to Malik Foster in numbers. So 14. That's a shame to see. It, yeah. Don't, no, we didn't, couldn't really see what happened down there, but 14-0 uh, down on top, just basically three minutes into the game. And uh, Arthur Hill will be without one of their best players on both sides of the ball, frankly. Right, right. Foster's a big fella over there for sure. So he's a... Uh, Senior running back linebacker. We'll have to figure a way to do without him. So that will be lining up for the kickoff. Kuhn will do the kickoff duties as well as um, doing the field goals and extra points. High short kick fielded at the 12. Oh, what a tremendous play out there by uh, Caleb Studebaker, the sophomore from Dow. Excellent. A special teams play, and Arthur Hill will start off from their own 16 yard line. Looks like uh, he may have had some room to run, but uh, Studebaker was all right over here. it. Studebaker does a great job on this. Breaks through the, and dives at the feet, makes a great play, great play. Yeah, if he got the edge over there, he may still be running, but uh, instead, it'll be a long way to go here for Arthur Hill. Two receivers split to the left, two to the right for the Lumberjacks. Foster pitches to the right, reverses direction, trying to get the edge, big block on the edge. 
And uh, he's going to end up gaining about four yards. Ran about 100 to yep. get four. <laughs> that is really good job by Dow. Recovering and running to the ball. So by the time by the time the tackle was made, there were five or six Dow defenders around them. Cameron Wilson, number 13, was the ball carrier. He's uh, he's dangerous. He 124 yards in the season, averaging 9.5 yards per carry. Um, probably some spot carries for him, but he's going to be counted on to uh, carry the load here tonight, with Foster no longer in the contest. Five, Chase Perry in coverage. And the Dow High left, Caden Skinner, 85. Also a little draw play. And he's got room to run. Off to the races. And whoa, lowers the shoulder. Delivers the big blow on the uh, carry. That was Wilson again. And uh, showed a little explosiveness there, again, Coach. Again, we're going to look at a broken play here that uh, they ran. And you can see where he'll come up in here and then he's going to break it off over here. And then he just takes off and goes. Good quickness. See, it's, it's there. It's gone. He says, okay, I'm not going anywhere. Great block on the perimeter. And lays a, lays a block on He wasn't messing Brennan around. Doyle. No, he, he's, he's not uh, real big. But uh, so all the way out to the 45, by far the best play of the night so far for Arthur Hill. Move the chains, gives them a little breathing room. Wilson again, kicks it outside again, finds the edge, still on his feet. Holy moly, he's got some quick feet. Dow had uh, collapsed the hole and uh, great lateral movement. Well, we're gonna have to take a look at here because we need to be able to control that perimeter out there and, and not lose our contain. You'll see what happened. See how the, the get inside. When you get inside, you're in trouble. That's exactly what happened. You cannot you cannot give up your contain. All the way down to the 36-yard line. Two big plays. Maybe the Lumberjacks have found something here. He got that edge, and he just took off like a jet. It's one thing... Uh, that coach had uh, mentioned was try to contain their athleticism. Back to pass, Foster batted down. Nice defensive play. Dow High, that's uh, Evan, Evan Mativa. Mativa. The beast. The beast. Yeah, I call him the beast. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, Evan's going to come in here and right off this corner, and he's going to make a real play here. Watch his arm go up in the air. He's the beast. That's a big he's, time play. In my mind, he's the next great Dow High player. Is he the, he's the, the next, new Spencer Stevenson he's the type player? Yes, he's the next great Dow High player. Just a sophomore. 6'1", 220, good size. And looks like he has some pretty good football instincts out there. Excellent football instincts and good bloodlines. His father played for me back in the 80s. Pitch right. He's going to pass it. He's open. Comes back for it. It's caught. Well executed play by the Lumberjacks. And uh, Cameron Wilson, 13, it's called upon. You and he is making here. a All splash. He does is just run right out here. Number five gets lost in the wash. To number 84. Andre Jackson. It's Andre we'll Jackson. Down by number five, Chase Perry for the Chargers. First and goal for the Lumberjacks. On the First Chargers. and goal, all the way to the six-yard line for Arthur Hill. Javon Brooks, number 21, is the fullback. Pitch left. Wilson tries to cut up, find some room. Got part of the yardage, maybe to the five. So remember what I told you, Dave, that the, the key for Arthur Hill is to keep going for the big play. They can't mess around with, with plays like this. I mean, uh, you're not going to get two and three, and really your blocking's not good enough. Well, Use your athleticism. That was quite a play right there, that long pass. Yeah. 
Well executed, wide open, uh, pretty good arm for the little guy. Right. Muscovarek, number 62, checks back in on the Dow High front. John Reddick, number 54. Alex Jonas, number 50 on that, that line as well. Back to pass. Maybe a quarterback draw. He's looking for a receiver. Fires and broken up nicely by Brennan Doyle. Tried to buy some time, but really wasn't there. No, by the time, you know, the, the, it was it was there a little early. Then it got covered, and then he, he moved out of, out of the pocket. When you move out of the pocket, that's your key. To, he, he could have run it in. Here's a flag on the play. It's an ineligible receiver downfield. That's going to hurt. I think uh, just uh, the his, the scrambling and just taking so much time. One of the linemen just kind of snuck out downfield. Dow will decline it. It'll bring up a third and goal from the five. Thought they might march that back to uh, just make Arthur Hill go a little bit farther, but trade it for the down instead. Third and five for the Lumberjacks. So Marion Foster, the sophomore quarterback, number two in the shotgun. Back to pass. Fires and intercepted. It was a little hot overthrown. He tried to get Jackson out of the backfield, or excuse me, Wilson. Tipped. Chase Perry. And Chase Perry with the interception. Makes, makes up for his mistake on the play before and the ball gets tipped a good tip drill good coverage he's kept inside he kept his inside position ball gets tipped up in the air good coverage there by uh, Skinner yep and so the lumberjack threat goes for not said they gotta not have turnovers and that was a big one Good reaction right there by uh, Skinner and then an excellent pick by Perry. Doyle in motion, left. He strike back to pass, fires. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. Hook and ladder and he is gonna go. So Rocky will go the distance. Nifty play call and uh, just well executed play coach well well here we go again <laughs> it's Soraki will come out of the backfield we're gonna have a little play right here and then a little flip beautiful job here comes the flip to Soraki Soraki has excellent speed and a terrific block by Brennan Doyle down the field untouched Yep, Doyle just uh, allowed him to finish that run. So and uh, the extra point. Three three trick plays, is good. three touchdowns. I love it. 21-0, five minutes to go in the first quarter. And uh, you'd said Dow needs to put the pedal to the metal early, and they have certainly done that. The uh, You cannot allow a team like Arthur Hill that is struggling to get up on you because they will play harder than they've ever played all year. Instead, now, now, they're, now, now they're, 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 they're ready to go home. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I saw the bus driver warming it up. <laughs> he did just pull it up there. Yeah, he did. Pulled it up. Perry. Perry. And so, um, yeah, we... Uh, <laughs> We knew this was going to be a tough challenge for Arthur Hill. And uh, you know that the potential was here with Dow just has a tremendous offense. It's one thing uh, Coach Watkins has really brought to the program is a dynamic offense, good balance. And I think you say you don't even call them trick plays. It's just no, part just of part what of they do. Offense. It's what they do. They're not trick plays. No. It's just what they do. And they, they execute they, they have very well. very few regular plays. I mean, or what? Right. Normal football people would say a regular place. 
They have the little Statue of Liberty play, the, this little hook and ladder, uh, the, the shuttle pass. But this is what they do best right here. This is excellent coverage. All right, here we go. Again. Arthur Hill now ready to go again. And it, it's going to be interesting to see what they decide to do here because it's 21 nothing, and we're only halfway through the first quarter. So I've got to imagine that Arthur Hill had, here come we're going to show the replay of the kick. Watch the coverage by the Dow High players coming down the field. And Wilson had no place to go. So it's a good kick down inside to five. Look at that swarm right there. Now that is excellent coverage and that is very poor blocking on the part of the <laughs> coverage team. Why, since there was Return only green team. shirts right there? Yeah, I mean, you gotta block somebody. Alec Reisig, 15, and Zeitler uh, among the chargers on that tackle. Ball rests on the 15, Arthur Hill. Foster back to pass, he's got time. Fires, intercepted. Studebaker. Right between the one and the one, and Caleb Stubaker, the Studebaker, the sophomore, with the pick, and he had good zip on the ball. It looked like it could he, be, but he was sitting there in the zone. He just didn't see he him. Just he sat did. right in the middle, and you'll see that the quarterback goes back in good protection, and you'll see it sit right there. He dropped right off. And in essence, he just threw it right at him. The receiver, the receiver wasn't looking. was not even looking at the play. So, change flip. It's at the just inside the 15 for Dow. Those flag on the play, arm to the right side and into the end zone goes Caden Skinner. Again, that little shovel pass on the it's almost a jet sweep. But there's a flag. We'll see what the call is. And that's going to come back. And so uh, didn't see the uh, infraction, but uh, we'll mark it back five yards to the 19. Well, again, the jet sweep has caused a penalty. Which yeah, that's not your happens. favorite play. Oh, well, I, I I keep telling you it's not, but. And it, because it's 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 a risk reward type of play, it has to be done by the player who's running the ball has to have great speed to get to the perimeter, and teams aren't let you have it anymore. It was a great block by Rizek out there to, to spring the touchdown run. So first and 15 from the 19. Same play. Kinner. Tried to find the edge, and he's run out of bounds after about a six-yard gain. So still exact same play, successful, but not as. So it'll bring up a second and nine for the Chargers. The difference in that play is Skinner kept running for the sideline. And if he'd have just run up, turned up the field, he'd have run through the tackles. He didn't run up in the shoot. You can't run around, you know, when you're running into that short sideline. There's just no place to run. So a strike, call out the signals. Straight handoff this time and a huge hole and kicks it out to the left and it is gonna be a touchdown. Connor Moe from 19 or 14 yards out and the Chargers strike once again. Nice run by Mo. Just a huge hole. The, 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 the hole up in here is just beautiful blocking. Uh, Dave, I'm assuming you could have run through this hole. <laughs> Let's not get carried trouble. away. Look at, look, at the, look at the hole. Look at the green shirts. Yeah. Look at the alley. Now, this is a good move by Connor Mo to get to the outside and not allow number three to block tackle him. Extra point by Zach Kuhn is good and Okay, Coach. Arthur Hill's will is destroyed right now. Yeah. 28 points halfway through the quarter. Uh, they don't want to tackle anybody. 
we'll see what happens as, as this quarter progresses. But yeah, this is uh, this is not going to be a pretty game. No, the uh, like you said we're yeah seven minutes into the contest. It's already 28 nothing, and there's Earthfield does not show any signs of being able to stop Dow High. When that touchdown got called back, I was tempted to say, well, it just delays the inevitable. And two plays later, sure enough, uh, Mo takes it in for the score. So Mo. Uh, that was a good run by Connor Mo. Yeah, it was. Second touchdown run of the season. Very good run by him. It's got 79 yards on 22 carries coming into the game. Now, the most interesting thing is. Arthur Hill's getting a lot of practice on their kickoff return. <laughs> and you would think that they would get better at it. But their their uh, well, you, their scheme is a lookout block. You just yell back to the guy running the ball, look out, because I'm not blocking anybody. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're not blocking anybody. They're trying to screen instead of, you know, a, a screen push instead of blocking. So Wilson will receive, there's the whistle is below. I think Dow is off sides. A little premature crossing the kickoff line and so they'll move it back five yards and try it again. The thing that's a little uncomfortable is, you mentioned Arthur Hill's will is broken and we're halfway through the first quarter. Just see, it just has that feel to it, it doesn't it? it? it yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They need uh, something good to happen. They had that drive, got down to the five-yard line, and, uh, you know, that could have uh, changed things quite a bit, but instead it turned into a negative play as well, and Dow uh, marched quickly downfield. Coon's kick will be go into the end zone. Smart play by Jackson once he didn't. Uh, wasn't able to catch it um, instead of trying to pick it up inside the five, let it get into the end zone. So they'll take over on their own 20 yard line. And we'll see if uh, what they can make happen here. I'm kind of excited to watch that Cameron Wilson uh, run the ball. He's a uh, he can get to that edge and has great speed. Just a matter, he's got to get some uh, blocking from his offensive line. Taking a while to they do get take to the line of scrimmage. To, uh, I'm looking for the chalkboard in the, in the huddle. <laughs> you know, <laughs> here you yeah, you run here. All right, you, you run there. here. You cut yeah, in. Yeah, I mean that's exactly. We'll cross at the 30. Under five seconds. Pitch, it's nope. flag on the play. There's a reverse, cut up nicely. Still on his feet, and um, all that for a couple yards, but that one's probably gonna come back too, I think. So that was uh, Fred Murray at the ball carrier. Doyle on the tackle. Doyle having a terrific first quarter here for Dow. Dow will decline the penalty. Give uh, Arthur Hill the three yard gain instead. That's confidence in your defense. Yeah, it is. To hold them to seven yards in the next couple plays. Jackson, or Foster, excuse me. Back to pass. He's looking deep for Jackson. Throws it up, and he's got his man. That's what you talked about, Coach. Try well, to throw it up deep to uh, that tall, keep, athletic receiver. Keep doing it. Just keep doing it. If you're Arthur Hill, that's exactly what you want to do. You got it. You have a mismatch. You have a five foot seven against a six foot five. You have a mismatch. 
just throw the ball up in the air and let your athleticism go up and get a rebound. It's actually good coverage by Perry, but it's just a matter of a taller receiver getting up and getting the ball. He didn't really get beat on the play, except that uh, the receiver is able to jump higher. Uh, here's the problem. The safety didn't help out, and that, that's a problem. When your safety's sitting in the middle of the field, he's got to help out on that inside route. All the way to the Dow High 45-yard line. Just under four minutes to go in the second qu or first quarter. Foster looking deep. He's in big trouble, and he is swarmed under. Good job by the Dow front. John Reddig in on that play. He's one of the and you'll chargers. see when he goes back, he's going to be he's, – he, he's, the receivers are covered. That's the first thing. So now he's got to scramble around a little bit. And when he scrambles around, Dow now defeats the block. Here's the first block. See how the swarm is there? And now he comes right back into 51's looks. Martin in there, along with Andrew Murdett. Cody Hunt also in on the play. So second and 21, not the position Arthur Hill wants to find themselves in. And uh, this time Cameron Wilson is out in the right slot, number 13. See what they might do there. Foster back to pass, fires, got his man, it's Jackson. Got a little bit of that yardage back. Back inside Dow territory to the 47, bring up third and 13. Jackson's a pretty good looking receiver out there, coach. Jackson's a very good receiver. And really, uh, Zavarian uh, is a very good, he has a good arm. He does, yeah. The ball has good tone on it. He just doesn't have enough time to do the kind of passing that he needs to do. The interception was kind of a against the zone. Sometimes you just don't see the linebacker sitting and settling in, and that's what happened. Third and 13. Foster back to pass, heavy pressure, fires, caught. That's uh, Wilson, came out of the right slot. That was a nicely thrown ball under heavy duress by Foster. It's a pretty good hit up the middle, but really an excellent pass under duress. We're going to see it in here. Let's clear that out of there. But we're going to see the, the completion in here in the slot as he catches the ball. There's, there's the catch. And again, that's a... That was a big-time play by Foster. Very good play. He was knew he was just going to get lit up and put it on the money to Cameron Wilson. So Arthur Hill on the move down to the 24 yard line. It's exactly the thing Arthur Hill has to do. Challenge, challenge the smaller Dow defenders. Hand off to Wilson, whoa. That play was blown up by Andrew Murdett. Ball carried by number 13, Cameron Wilson for the Lumberjacks. Brought down by number 80, Andrew Murdoch for the... Nice Murdoch. play by Murdoch. Now watch, watch, watch the arm over move here that puts him right into the play. Watch the technique. See, there's an arm over and right there. That was a beautiful, beautiful technique. Lyman didn't even know what happened. No. <laughs> Murdoch just disappeared on him. So a loss on the first down play makes it second and 14 at the 28. Minute 25 to go in the first quarter. Second pretty good drive here by Arthur Hill of the quarter. Foster back to pass, heavy pressure, fires a little short. They're gonna say incomplete. Picked off the turf by Wilson, but again, heavy pressure. Um, bring up third and 14. Just so you know, Dave, a number of years ago, I worked with a guy who taught that arm over move better than any coach I've ever worked with. Yeah. His name was Steve Marsh. Is that right? Mm -hmm. He was 
quite the coach, quite the defensive line coach, and every one of our players could make that move as smooth as they could. They were just as dangerous as could be, and they, they established a new line of scrimmage before the offensive lineman got out of his stance. Yeah. <laughs> they were in and through. That's awesome. Third and 13. Arthur Hill needs something positive to happen here. Heavy pressure again, fires deep, looking for Wilson, broken up, nice job out there. Is that Zeitler? Ben Zeitler. So they went big on it, another pretty that, nicely thrown ball. That's the first time he's thrown left. All the others have been thrown to the right. And this is really a nice, nice coverage out here by Zeitler at the top of the screen. So here's Zeitler at the top of the screen. Quarterback goes back, has good good motion. And Zeitler is just going to go up, seize the ball, and just gets his one hand on it. Well, if he was able to throw that about a yard farther, that might have been a touchdown. Kind of impressed with Foster. He's got a, he's got a good arm, and he's uh, hanging in there. He's taking some shots, but he's uh, doesn't seem to be phased by that. Fourth and 14 for Arthur Hill. Foster back to pass, fires deep, and it is broken up. Nice job again by Chase Perry. Tried to go big to his favorite receiver, Andre Jackson, but uh, excellent coverage job. by Perry. Good job by Perry. The throw was just a little bit short, which allowed Perry to catch up to the re to the receiver. You know, you Foster can can't really step into his no. throws because he's, uh, he's under a lot. He's about of to get hit every time he throws it. You'll see it as it comes down here. He just, he just launches it. He couldn't step into it. That's good defense right there. And with a minute to go in the first quarter, Dow on top, 28 nothing. Have the ball again, this time at their own 28. A strike. Goes right and uh, still on his feet, driving ahead. And uh, good play by the Arthur Hill defense. It was Alec Reisig on the reception. Arthur Hill was not fooled at all by the, by the play. Well, they gave a lot of forward advancement there. Yeah, yeah, they sure did. We said about Arthur Hill's will, but you got to be impressed that offensive drive right there. They didn't, uh, there's, there's no, there's no quit in that. They're still going after it. As I said in my opening statement, just continue to go for the big play. Second and a long two, probably be the last play of the quarter. Handoff, the big fella. Oh, he's rumbling. This is uh, Mativa, your <laughs> don't, your guy. Don't mess with the beast. <laughs> Get out of the beast way. Wow. That's the definition of uh, driving ahead. You know, just watch this run. He gets up in here, and then he's going to take it to the outside with speed. So when he get, takes the ball, it's just a little handoff. Now there's a nice hole, but watch this. And now, just, excuse me, I'm running. Switches the ball. Now I've got to teach him the stiff arm. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, our, our uh, first quarter comes to an end. Dow in total control of this one. Folks, you're watching this Midland High, or excuse me, Dow High, Arthur Hill homecoming game on MCTV Charter Communications Cable Channel 189 in Midland. You can also find MCTV under channel 99 on AT&T's U-verse. This game will be cable cast on dates and times as shown on your screen. There's the crew in the truck bringing you the action. Uh, first class operation, those guys run down there and you're gonna wanna tune in. You can see Saturday and Sunday uh, this week, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. And uh, there'll be other times and dates to follow. You can check that out on uh, MPS TV 190. Check the Midland Public Schools website 
www.midlandps.org for the schedule. You can also view this program online at the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel. Did you know that, Coach? You can check yes, that I out did. on YouTube. Yes, I did. All right. The wor everything's on YouTube, Dave. Yeah, that's true. The, uh, and stay tuned to uh, MCTV this fall for more high school games and events on the MCTV network. Volunteers and staff will be televising, among other things, the marching band showcase, the Midland Dow football game, and the Midland Dow volleyball match coming up. Um, again, check out MCTV on Facebook to follow. Follow us and get updated information on all the programming. First play of the second quarter. Great field position for Dow. Sweep, this is Perry. Quick feet, cuts up, and a nice open field tackle. Looked like he may bust that one big. Um, Perry, the junior, he, he got some playing time last year as a sophomore, as I recall, and uh, we were really impressed with his quickness. He did, I am impressed too. Zeit he, will come he will in. learn to, see, he ran at the same speed the whole time. He, he's got to learn that in the varsity there are three speeds. There's your running speed, there's your acceleration speed, and then there's your touchdown speed. Uh -huh. And right there, he just ran at the same speed. Zeitler fires to the left flat, and there he goes. Well executed play, and Caden Skinner takes it all the way. It'll be a touchdown pass for Zeitler. The lefty uh, put it on the money, and he got a great block out there Dow has in the flat. So many weapons. I mean, Connor Moe's out here. Yeah, Moe is making the block. See, yeah, we're going to see this little pass out here, little screen. And just a beautiful pass to Skinner. There's the blockers out there. There's Mo with a great block. And Skinner. Jody on a great block as now, well. Let me say this. Dow has so many weapons that sometimes Skinner gets lost. Yeah. And to me, Skinner is, is their key offensive receiver. But there's so many other weapons. And they score so easily. And of course tonight, Anybody Very easily. Score, yeah. Skinner, uh, three touchdowns coming into the game, uh, adds to that total. And uh, it's the thing that's impressive about Dow when you watch them play. Just the the offense is almost breathtaking in that. Yep. The variety. Just the variety. The variety of and offense. The, and, the ex own? and the execution yes. of the variety. Yeah, is, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. But they practice a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. they do, and they have quality practices, and they have quality coaches. Absolutely. And so the, the end result is, uh, you know, I, I think uh, we're going to see an exciting end of the season. Dave. Oh, my gosh. I mean, next week. Can't wait. Here at the stadium, Lapeer comes in to play Midland. Dow goes to Carmen Ainsworth, and then then the monster game at the end of the year. And that's going to be one of and those then, monster Midland Dow games. And then guess what? They're going to play each other the week after. <laughs> yeah, probably you true. You know that? I mean, because uh, it looks like Traverse City West is going to be the first, and the loser of Dow Midland will be fourth. So they will have to go up to oh, yeah. uh, tra unless something else happens, and they're second and second third. Second and third and play they're each other. second and third, they play each other. Kickoff uh, caught on the run, and uh, that was Wilson. He did a great job to go catch that ball. He was, that was a long gonna, way. He, he was going to make sure it did not get in the end zone. To... Caught it on full speed, and ends up getting out to about the 30. So Dow High, 35 nothing. We're in running clock already at the beginning of well, very we, early in the second we, quarter. We can't start running clock until the second half. Oh, okay. So we're we're not on running clock, but it's running. The running clock number, 35 points. Except the clock's running right now. <laughs> it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be running. Maybe the... Well, the referee start. Once, once the downs are set. After the change I of possession? Know. I don't know. Uh, Anyway, first and ten. Back to pass. Knocked down. There's your, there's your, the, beast. Uh, the beast again. The beast. <laughs> Six two two thirty five. The second time he's swatted down a pass. He's a, he's a real football player. 
Coaching staff for Dow, remember Coach Watkins has done a tremendous job. Clock is running. Not have a running clock. Tremendous job as Watkins uh, the last several years bringing the Charger program into prominence. Assistant coaches Lee Kamen, Phil Liga, Matt Peterson, John Streeter, Steve Watkins, Mark Wallace. Um, just putting together just a string of uh, tremendous seasons for Dow. And so uh, second and 10. Pitch left to Wilson. He initially great. cut up. He probably should have stayed yeah, uh, great inside, but yeah. when he went out outside, he just got swarmed this is, this under. This is the thing that's impressed me all year long about Dow, and that is they run to the football. They're not very big, but they are very quick, and they they get a lot of people around the ball. I've been impressed with their defense all year. Yeah. Sophomore Aiden Belgiorno on the tackle there. Third and 12. I mean, is this a case if it gets to be fourth down, you just go for it this deep or? I don't know, we'll see. I think we may see one of those uh, chuck it up passes to Andre Jackson. Back to pass. He got creamed as he let go of the ball. Yikes. No chance. Just uh, can't quite pick up uh, the well, number. That's up, eight. When you that's look up uh, front Murdoch. here, when you look up front, we got to take a look at that, that blocking right there. And you'll see that it is just come out of your, see those hands come out. They don't, the feet never move. See, ne nobody's feet is moving. So as a result, the quarterback is in trouble. You gotta, it, it's, a, it's a movement of your feet and your arms working in conjunction. They're, they're just using their hands. Murdit delivered the blow. Nice job by the punter. Pretty good effort after a bad snap. And uh, Perry on the return. He's got plenty of room down the right sideline. Cuts back, oh, what a cutback move, and he goes the distance. Now, remember what I talked about, the different speeds? Yeah. Now, that is the parry that I remember seeing. Those are different speeds. He ran three different speeds there. The acceleration speed to get into the chute, and right at the end, he ran his touchdown speed. Take another look at it. Terrific run here. He's going to get the ball, come up in here, and he's going to come down this sideline with terrific. Watch the move there. First off, he gets up into the chute. Here he comes. Now, now there's a speed move there. Now, watch the next speed is going to be right here. Boom. There's a little jump cut, and there's that acceleration that gets you into the end zone. 64-yard punt return for a touchdown by the junior, Chase Perry. And Kuhn uh, delivers with his sixth extra point already, and it's 42-0, 841 left in the second quarter. That's right, the second quarter. And uh, yeah, not much to say here. Everything clicking for Dow, offense, defense, special teams, and uh, Arthur Hill just uh, had some good plays, but just, just can't consistently get anything Interesting going. Interesting thing happened a couple weeks ago. Arthur Hill was playing Saginaw Heritage, and one of the banks of the lights went out. It was still fairly light, but you know, so they were able to play. Then the rest of the lights went out. So rather than wait for the lights to come back on again, they called the game. Arthur Hill said, that's it. We're not playing on there. Really? Yeah, and that was the end of the game. And it was still a close game? Oh, no. It was. Oh, uh, it, was it? it wasn't. Oh. It, yeah, 27 6. Are they uh, rooting for the lights to go out here tonight? I would say the lights have gone. <laughs> <The light. laughs> Turn, Turn out the, the lights, lights, the party's the over. Party, the party was over a long done. time ago. Jackson on the return. Boy, another Good great job. Yeah, that was a wonderful. That's job Studebaker there. again, coach. Studebaker is pesky. He's a menace on 
special teams, and he's got an interception in interception. Dow playing a number of uh, sophomores. Well, Mativa, Studebaker, and uh, Bill Sage Giorno. Ryan. And Bill, Ryan Sage. Bill Giorno is a sophomore. And, and Bill Giorno, yes. Yeah. So there, you can't have enough depth. And, and that's the thing, you cannot have enough depth as, as the season progresses. Well, here we go. First and 10, Arthur Hill. Well, we know what's going to happen. Throw he's it gonna, deep. He's going to throw it deep, try to catch the receivers out here. He's got four receivers. They've got nothing to lose. Quarterback draw this time. And uh, good job by the Chargers. Looked like he was going to have some room to run initially, but uh, closed up nicely. By Dow, Studebaker again in on that stop. I find this very discouraging for Arthur Hill. Uh, that limited number of, of participants to start off with, uh, really 20, and they lose their number one rusher, number one defensive player, and you know their sideline is pretty much in the dumper. There's not much they can do, really. No, no, there's not much they can do. Maybe they can hit something big here. Second and six. The screen, and he's, oh, nice little move. And a nice recovery. That, that was a fantastic recovery there. It was an excellent move. And uh, again, Studebaker Ron makes the recovery. After being juked out, comes back and makes the tackle. Third and one. We'll call it a long one, short two. Almost can't help it. <laughs> Hope they can move the chains, get a little life, and uh, uh, keep competing in this ball game. See what the Dow High defense can dial up here. I'd go for that quarterback draw if I was losing me. It's going to be a quarterback sweep. He's going to try to get to the edge. Oh, tremendous play. A Studebaker, Studebaker again. again. He's Kid got is all over the field. Quickness. What quickness. Okay, we have the sweep here by the quarterback coming around the corner. And we have Studebaker out here going to make the play. I thought for sure he was going to get right it. Right from the inside. And that is quite a play. It saved the first down for sure. And they're going to punt. Boy, I'd be tempted to go for it. Fourth and, fourth and a yard. The punt last time didn't work out so well for Arthur Hill. That is blocked. Punter is going to grab it. Ball still loose. So I wonder why not go for it? Because, <laughs> uh, boy, it's uh, Mike Erickson on the recovery. Wow. You can quite see the who got the block. We'll see it here on the on the replay. Snap is a. It's a 25. Uh, Doty or Cody Hunt, excuse Cody me, Cody Hunt. Hunt. So ball in the 21. Dow threatening once again. 42 nothing. This is the second quarter. A long time to go in the second quarter as well. Zeitler at quarterback. Quarterback draw. Zeitler's got room to run. All the way inside the 10, down to about the 7. Zeitler's pretty quick. Zeitler's got great quickness. In comes the beast, Mativa. It's first and goal for the Chargers at the 7. The clock's running.
That's uh, Zeitler still in at QB. Handoff and boo. Big lick by Arthur Hill. It was a better, be better defensive efforts on Arthur Hill's part. Siraki uh, was the ball carrier on the kind of the sweep, but uh, nicely done by Arthur Hill. It'll be a two yard loss back to the nine. Brings up second down and goal for the Chargers on the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Inside third quarterback, he's going to keep it. No, he pitches. Pitch right. Siraki is uh, down good yardage on the carry, down, down to the one. one. Ball carried by number 16, Nick Siraki for the Chargers. Brought down by number 84. Andre Jackson at number 88. Jackson on the tackle, third and goal from the one. We're looking at a quarterback draw here. It may be a sneak, that's how they scored before. Using the shotgun. Siraki, a lone setback. Siraki. Untouched Touchdown. into the end zone. Huge hole by the created by the interior line. And Again, another just TD. Just a little handoff. Just a little bit of a handoff right in here. And a great hole by that front line. You'll see a nice cut right there. And not much of an effort by Arthur Hill to stop him. 68 Benchley among the offensive linemen. Blowing the hole open. And uh, a little worried about Zach Kuhn. His leg may be getting tired. Seven extra points and uh, seven kickoffs are already <laughs> four minutes well, to go in the I, second quarter. I, I said score early and often, but I did not expect uh, seven touchdowns in that short period of time. Definitely often. And one of the things I talked about was third down production, except Dow has third downs. had many third downs. Very few. So. There was third down right there, but uh, yeah, they just have been gashing the uh, Lumberjacks with both the run and the pass. Well, Arthur Hill just cannot make turnovers, and they have made a ton of turnovers. Yeah, block punt. So special teams have not been kind, and uh, yeah, some critical turnovers and penalties that have uh, helped things up. And actually, when they were moving, give Dow's defense some credit because the defensive line would get in and, uh, and wreak havoc, causing problems for uh, Malik Foster. Kick off again to the 10-yard line. Found a little bit of hole. Pretty good return at that time. Ran with authority. It's uh, Fred Murray Ball by number up eight, to the 29-yard line. So a little under four down minutes down to go six. to see if uh, Arthur Hill can get a spark Martin. here. Sam Martin for the Just to give him some line. hope going into the locker room. They do have some bright shoes on their in their backfield. I'll give them that. The shoe contract. Maybe that's what it is. Adidas. So uh, Murray and Wilson are very noticeable with their bright green shoes. Foster back to pass. He's got room to run. Cuts it up nicely. Big gain on first down, and he's still great effort. Finally brought down by Ethan Ells. Uh, that was a nice job by Foster. Nothing there very, in the very passing. Good run. Very good run. Uh, and, and I think he needs to do more of that where he gets, he has his shot. If he doesn't see the pass, go pretty much take off and go. Yeah, it's nearly become nice, a, nice. Become a dual threat quarterback. 
It's a nice move, and uh, sure he well, ran with authority. He's got good size. All the way out to the 46. Clock's running. Give him a little bit of spark there. Let's see if they can muster a drive here to as the first half winds down. Definitely takes his time calling out the signals. Back to pass under heavy pressure again. It's complete. Oh. You say it, the ball oh, is out tumble. deep and their chargers are going to go all the way down inside the 10. It was a, a tremendous effort by Wilson, but he had the ball out wide off of his body. Jarred loose by Dow and a promising play turns yeah, into a disaster. An effort to make it go. Yeah. We'll see it out here on the in the area up here where he comes out, down, makes the play, makes the catch right here, and then the ball gets ripped out right there. We're gonna see it pop right out and picked right up by Sage Ryan. You, you got to give Wilson credit for the effort. He was trying to get every inch he could out of it, but when in doing so, he did not have good ball security. Pop loose, and just like that, Dow's knocking on the door again. Number 41, the ball carrier, and that's uh, Austin Burlew for a touchdown. You mentioned a lot of guys going to get in this game, and uh, there's a lot of guys scoring in this game. It's the eighth TD there, me. Am I wrong? There have been eight guys score. <laughs> but uh, great job by Birlu. Again, a big hole. He just found his way through it into the end zone. The uh, Arthur Hill defenders. Uh, They've lost their spunk, it looks like. Extra point is good. No, it's no good. Excuse me, so uh had been perfect until then. Uh, but it is 55 nothing. And uh, the clock's running. They're uh get over 50 is it run no matter what take another look at the extra point try Can tell if uh, the lumberjack got a hand on that or not but pushed just wide right Down on the first play after the turnover. Another uh, disastrous turnover for Arthur Hill. Wilson on the return inside the 10. He juts his way ahead. Good speed. Good effort. All the way out to Wonderful the 43. Effort. I'm impressed with this young man. He's uh, He is out there competing, regardless of the score. Knocked out of by number 51. And uh, the clock is the running. Target. Got all the way to the 42. For the on their -yard line. And that's going to really do it here for the first half. What do you Seattle. say? Not much has gone wrong for the Chargers. <laughs> and not, not, not punted. Much has gone right for Arthur no. Hill. And that was a, you know, that one led by, it's actually, they had consecutive good plays. And just trying to get a little extra out of it, ends up 
<laughs> turning into a disaster as Dow with the uh, big fumble recovery by Sage Ryan. Dow has totally dominated this first half. They say it's, it's a, a perfect homecoming. Perfect yeah. homecoming. You don't see 50 points in right. a half very often. Um, be running clock for sure in the second half. Well, we are, as we mentioned, it is homecoming here at Midland Community Stadium. Homecoming 2017 for the Dow High Chargers. And we're going to send it on down to the field, enjoy the halftime festivities of the uh, impressive Dow High marching band, along with the homecoming court and, uh, and everything else that comes with your homecoming. We will see you in the second half, folks. Bold contrasting themes, fanfares, and rhythmic drive make this march from the 2011 blockbuster action film Captain America, The First Avenger, an exciting and distinctive piece for marching band. Captain America's March has been skillfully arranged for the Charger Marching Band by one of our seniors, Mellophone Section Leader David Lenhart. Once again, we welcome our 65-member alumni band and two previous directors to the field. Mr. James Huber will lead the combined bands through the number one song of 1971, Joy to the World. You might remember it as Jeremiah Was a Bullfrog.
band is thrilled to perform with the Dow High Pom Pom Squad at each home game. We welcome Mr. Burgess back to the ladder to direct Gimme Some Lovin' reached number one, seven, excuse me, number seven in the U.S. in 1967 and made a big resurgence in 1980 when it was used in the Blues Brothers movie. We thank all of the alumni band members, Mr. Huber and Mr. Burgess, for being with us this evening. Because of your hard work and dedication to music, we enjoy very successful choirs, orchestras, and bands at Dow High. Once again, we say thank you. And now, get on your feet and sing along with the Dow High Fight Song. Fifty members strong, the Dow High School Charger Marching Band, Pom Pons, and Alumni Band. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2017 Dow High School Homecoming Halftime Ceremony. At this time, it is our pleasure and honor to introduce the 2017 Dow High Charger Homecoming Court. Walking onto the field are the freshman class representatives and their parents from the class of 2021. Ryan Erdman, son of Rich and Jeanette Erdman. Jada Gardner, daughter of Lewis and Jody Gardner. Riley Nelson, son of Keith and Jennifer Nelson. 
Hannah Mori, daughter of Jim and Brandy Mori. Congratulations to the freshman class representatives and their families. Representing the class of 2020, Isabella Reed, daughter of Hyo and Karen Reed. Cameron Stewart, son of Justin and Jennifer Stewart. Charlotte Pohl, daughter of John and Kim Pohl. And Logan McNamara, son of Tom and Terry McNamara. Congratulations to the sophomore class representatives and their families. Next on the field are the class of 2019 representatives. Please welcome Elizabeth Green, daughter of Nate and Bridget Green. Mark Fishman, son of Slava and Luba Fishman. Marin Brown, daughter of Mark and Susie Brown. Shane Hogan, son of Todd and Cindy Hogan. Congratulations to the junior class representatives and their families. The Dow High King and Queen will be selected from the following senior class representatives. Hannah Jackson is the daughter of Jim and Brianna Jackson. She is currently undecided on her college choice, but is considering a career in aerospace medicine. Hannah is the NHS president, a section leader for the Charger Marching Band, participates in Model UN, and is a student pilot at Barstow Airport. Caden Skinner is the son of Michael and Amy Skinner. His college choice is currently unknown, but would like to study business and travel around the world. Caden is a member of the Charger football and baseball teams in DECA, volunteers part-time at MAYFL concessions, and is one of the Dow High morning announcers, Caden Skinner. Elizabeth Cluck is the daughter of Gary and Andrea Cluck. She would like to study psychology at a yet-to-be-determined school. Elizabeth is a section leader for the Charger Drumline, member of the NHS, the Drama Department, and attends early morning seminary every day at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Elizabeth Cluck. Grant Ostergaard is the son of Todd and Barbara Ostergaard. They he will be going on a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and then attending BYU. Grant is a drum major in the Charger Band, a member of the swim team in NHS, and participates in Boy Scouts. Grant Ostergaard. <laughs> Vadika Sabla is the daughter of Manish and Kunjan Sabla. She would like to attend MSU and study psychology. Vadika is a member of NHS, the head historian from, for NAHS, and is a member of the Key Club. Vadika Sabla. And Jacob Pasek is the son of Dave and Angels Pasek. He would like to study occupational therapy or elementary education at Hope College or NMU. Jacob is in the Charger Band, Youth Leadership, the Outreach Team, is a diver on the swim team, on Student Council, and is the VP of the Executive Board. And he is the, var the Varsity Volleyball Team Manager, the President of the Drama Club and Thespians, and is also a skier. Jacob Pasek. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Class of 2018 Senior Class Homecoming Representatives. Last year's homecoming queen, Miss Nadia Atta, is unable to be with us this evening and sends her congratulations to the homecoming court this evening while she competes on the Northwood University volleyball team. Our Dow High School assistant principal, Mrs. Carla Cook, will crown our Dow High School queen. 
Last year's homecoming king, Mr. Ben Price, could not join us from Notre Dame, where he is a member of the drumline in their marching band. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dow High School class of 2018 homecoming king is, drum roll please, Jacob Pasek. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dow High School class of 2018 homecoming queen is, drum roll please, <laughs> Hannah Jackson. <laughs> A bouquet of yellow roses are being presented to the HH Dow homecoming queen on behalf of the Dow High School student body and staff by the Dow High assistant principal, Mrs. Jenny Coppins. Dr. Steve Poole, principal of Dow High School, is presenting the Charger Bolt to our homecoming king. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you this year's Dow High School homecoming court. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as the court leaves the field, please stand for the Charger fight song. second half of our homecoming game. This is uh, Dave Marsh and Frank Aldemore bringing you the action and uh, awesome uh, halftime uh, homecoming festivities as always with the marching band. Congrats to the king, homecoming king Jacob Pasek and homecoming queen Hannah Jackson. And uh, before we uh, get underway here, we got some highlights from the first half and uh, I think uh, a lot of the highlights are going to be wearing green jerseys. All coach. the highlights are in green. Um, uh, Dow High on top, 55 to nothing at half, and uh, they uh, started so early the and often. Quarterback sneak, and you see the push by Dow's offensive line. Here we go, the little wraparound uh, play, and what an effort by Doyle. Brennan Doyle. And then here is that hit, hitch and go, great play by Skinner, and now. Zeraki just runs down the sideline and, and outruns the Arthur Hill team. That, that was, that's saying something. 
And this is quite the run here by uh, Connor mm -hmm. Moe. Got up into that shoot. This is the uh, quick pass out to Caden Skinner. And uh, Caden, by the way, was on the homecoming court. Yes. I want to congratulate I was him for, for that. I was rooting for him. And this is uh, Perry running. And as I said, he, he does know where the end zone is. Watch this little move right here that got him in the end zone. Beautiful run on a punt return. And then this is a run here by... Uh, and Siraki also. Uh, yeah, that was Nick Siraki. And then this is Austin Burlew on his run into the end zone. And I think we have one. No, that's it. All right. So eight touchdowns by seven different players. It's impressive. How often do you see seven players score a touchdown for a team and a half? Well, one of our keys was score early, often, and spread out. The, spread it out, I guess. It was definitely uh, often. Yeah, often. And uh, Siraki with two TDs, but uh, seven or uh, six other guys so, scoring. So, so what does Arthur have to do? Well, in the second half, they, you know what you just say to your say to your team here. All right, we're going to go on on. We're going to play hard for a half. It doesn't matter what the score is. We're going to give you a hard. And as I said, these were their keys here. They, to limit their turnovers. They didn't do that. They continue to go for the big play, and I admire them for that. They didn't necessarily have to play strong pass defense. When they had a chance, they did. But Dow had so much variety in their offense yeah. that uh, the Lumberjacks were unable to handle that. And for Dow, as I said here, uh, they put tremendous pressure on the quarterback. And I thought the quarterback did well for yeah. the pressure. No, no doubt. And score early and often, of course, we've already talked about. Uh, third down production was... Uh, is something Dow continued to needs to work on if it's going to be successful here uh, tonight. Certainly not an indication because they didn't get to many third downs. No. Um, yeah, you. Uh, it's just a uh, entire team onslaught here in the first half. You're pretty much every guy on the team is playing well. They've had some real standouts on defense. Uh, Caleb Studebaker on uh, defense and special teams has uh, been a real standout. Very impressed by uh, by that young man, uh, the sophomore, um, having a terrific defensive half. Evan Mativa, also a sophomore, batting down a couple of passes and had a big run um, during during the half as well. And the offensive line just uh, blowing holes open for the running backs. You mentioned their Arthur Hill pass defense. The pass plays for Dow are kind of non-traditional, or swing passes, right. shovel passes, the hook and ladder. They haven't really truly thrown it downfield that much. And Dow basically is a vertical passing team, yeah. which, you know. They just haven't really had to do it. They haven't had to do it. So. What do what do the Arthur Hill coaches say? You you haven't really you've lost some games, but you've never been quite like this. Well, what would a coach say to the team? Serious at halftime, and I just simply have said to the team, "Hey, you've taken their shot. All right, you're still here. Let's go out. We're going to play the second half. Score is always going to be zero zero, no matter if you're up or you're down. Play the second half. Play hard." Keep going. And they have shown some flashes. The, you know, we'd mentioned uh, um, Zamarian Foster, the quarterback, uh, obviously a tough kid. Um, he has been, he has taken some shots tonight and uh, really just hung in there and continued to compete. And uh, Cameron Wilson called into duty with their top running back Malik Foster being uh, ejected, and uh, he's he's shown some real positive signs as well. Short kick, fielded at the 29, and uh, goes down quickly. But good field position for Arthur Hill, and we will have running clock for the second half. Arthur Hill would have to get the score to within 35 or less to not have the running clock, which that would be a tall order to get to that point. I'm usually not a fan of the running clock, 
because I like to see a lot of kids playing, but tonight, yeah, this is one of those where the, the running clock really comes into play. Well, we've already seen a lot of kids play. Yeah, like uh, Berlu got to uh, uh, get a touchdown um, on a very nice run. Trips left, Arthur Hill. Slant goes to the right and uh, just missed his receiver. Ball had a lot of zip on it. Just just missed him. Got some good physical skills, does Foster. And just uh, kind of needs to clean some things up on uh, on his accuracy. Well, his release is bad. I mean, his, his arm is strong, but his release... You know, his footwork is, he just stands there flat-footed and he relies on his arm to throw. And you got to step in. I think you mentioned that earlier where he's uh, in trouble and throwing off. But he's under pressure also. Yeah. But he's still in shotgun. So, I mean, just get back a little bit, make a nice, easy throw, find your receivers. Second 10, Foster back again. There we go. The pressure again, took a shot. It's caught. Oh, man. Wilson, nicely done. Gonna get the first down. Again, under heavy pressure, again, but uh, through a bullet. Again, throwing off his back foot. And it, that, this is all arm. Now watch the quarterback as he goes back. He's gonna go back in here and he's gonna set up. I like the set up, but watch what happens. You see how he, leaning back to throw into it and you gotta step into the front foot. You got creamed. Wilson did a great job to pick up five extra yards and move the chains. I don't know what the delay is. I I uh, think Wilson may have gotten shaken up on that play. He was moving gingerly. He's over on the sidelines. He's a personal foul on down. So a little drive here going for Arthur Hill to start the second half. Yeah, just keep playing, see if you can get something positive to happen and uh, take it from there. Buster puts Brooks to his left side. Looks downfield, got a little more time. He's gonna take off. Cuts it back to the left, still on his feet, driving ahead and uh, picks up positive yardage. But you mentioned uh, maybe you'd like to see him yeah, do that a little exactly more. What he has to do. Give up on no the pass quicker. Just, just tuck it and go. Gonna pick up about six on the play. I mean, he's, he's a true athlete. He has, he has wonderful skills. He really has a good arm. His, his technique is awful, but he has a good arm. We'll make it, uh, call it a five-yard gain instead, down inside the 33. Second and five. Well, between uh, Foster, Wilson, and Jackson, they had some uh, pretty good athletes out there. Time rolls left, he's going, lofts it, wide open in the flat, he's got his man, and he's gonna be wrangled out of bounds inside the five yard line. So put a little touch on that yeah, one. That was a nice throw, but Dow just lost him out there. Um, there's nobody in the coverage. And we'll see it come out in here. And you got this little area right here. There's nobody there. The, the, the deep guy gets run off and uh, you can go from there. He's lost. Yep. Linebacker. I forgot about him. First and goal from the six, we'll call it. Seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Wait. Opening drive for Arthur Hill has uh, been productive so far. Taking his time, calling the signals. <coughs> Rolls right. Looks, looks, fires. Touchdown. Yeah, touchdown. And they called it a catch. Nicely done. 
pass completed to Fred Murray. And uh, great play. That's a really nice job yeah, nice by job Foster extending the good play. Good effort by the receiver to catch the ball. Nice roll out here as he comes in here, and he'll make a play. Good throw and an excellent catch. Yeah, very now, nice. Here's the thing. You can't allow this quarterback to get to the perimeter. So the defensive ends, outside linebackers for Dow, have got to keep him boxed in. He's much better as a runner to the outside where he has a run pass option. He's not as strong inside where the coverage can take care of you. Guys from the marching band enjoying the game. Lumberjacks will go for two. Fires overthrown, ball sailed on him, looking for uh, Wilson. And so it'll remain 55 to six, but uh, really positive, uh, some positive things for Arthur Hill coming out of the locker room. It's like you said, Good you know job. what? You just might as well just say 0-0 zero, zero and see what we can do. Just continue to keep that positive vibe going. Can't let the 55 bother you. Build on the 6. Exactly. See if they can get a stop. They have, have defensively have just been unable to stop Dow High. Dow High with racking up some major yardage in the half. Well, they've um, got some easy scores off of uh, turnovers, but Arthur Hill has really not shown an ability at all to stop, to slow down this Charger attack. I would not be surprised on an onside kick here. Why not? I would not be surprised if they do it. I mean, that why not do it, you know? Yeah, I'd say, why not what do, do it? What do you have to lose? Your only hope is to you gotta get, get back, the ball and score you gotta more. you got to get back into the ball game and get it down under 35 so you have a fighting shot. Now, you, that may sound familiar, but you have to keep that positive vibe. More of a low liner. Siraki will field it. And he's chopped down at about the 35, 36. Might have gotten shaken up. I think he did. Darn it. He uh, he took a low hit um, and went down quickly. And uh, some of his teammates were quickly calling the training staff over. Oh, man, you hate to see that. I think it was Siraki, isn't it? The... Uh, I believe he was one of the deep men on that right side. Whoa, pops up like nothing. And it was Siraki, and uh, he'll jog off the field just momentarily shaken up. Exactly. Let the uh, let's uh, let the babies back there and make the plays. This game is virtually over. So we will have a new quarterback in, it looks like. Number seven, Mike Erickson, junior. Calling the signals now. Little uh, flip pass and the jet sweep. And uh, that time, Lumberjack's all over it. Still turning ahead is Jackson Soul. Trying to get some extra yardage. It's going to end up being uh, really for no gain. It's a play that's been uh, successful for Dow. Technically a pass. This is what's great about this game is that everybody gets to play. You know, the home, big homecoming crowd, mom and dad get to see you play because a lot of players won't get to play anymore. It's going to be a, a rough game next week, and the week after that is even going to be tougher. 
Sam Erickson's going to keep it. Got room to run. Spins ahead. Still driving. Good He's going to get about eight. Good effort. Erickson, 100% uh, passing on the year. Five for five coming in, and now he's six for six. And then a uh, good uh, running effort there. His third carry on the year. Third and two. Cranston in motion. It's going to be a shovel pass to him, and his ball's loose. Might be an incomplete, right? Because he was throwing it forward. Pass. Yeah. That's the good part about that. It's uh, or that was Zach Coon, excuse me. Cranston's number four. They bring up a fourth down. This is an incomplete pass. There's a fumble here, and then see, that's a forward pass right there. Yep, once it hit the and ground. once it hits the ground, now everybody's going to hustle to get to the ball because they don't—they're not sure about it. Or if the official uh, didn't see it correctly. Fourth and two. Thou is not punted tonight. And doesn't. Might be a quick kick. He's. Playing pretty he, deep there in the shotgun. Deep. There's nobody back to receive for Arthur Hill. High snap, under pressure. Pretty good job by Erickson. And an incredible bounce. That's going to work out well for Dow. He can do now, nothing wrong tonight. One oh. of the things about a quick kick is everybody must block. You, you can't have a, a allow those guys to get in there. Yeah, they're kind of fortunate yeah, that I didn't get a uh, block. Good effort on, on Erickson's part. The uh, rusher grazed uh, Erickson. I was, I'm glad they uh, did not call roughing on that one. It wasn't much of a, much contact. And so it'll be first and 10 from the 19. Mentioned uh, King and Queen festivities. Uh, congrats uh, to our winners this year. And uh, shout out Nadia Atten, who is the Dow High homecoming queen last year, now a member of the Northwood University volleyball team. Northwood defeating Wayne State tonight, third straight win. Nadia, a uh, member of the volleyball team, got to play and be part of that victory, and so unable to be here tonight. Just wanted to give her a shout out. First and 10. Lumberjacks. Heavy rush again, fires way downfield and it is caught. Great catch. Might have got away with a little bit of a push off, but uh, um, Foster quite again a, under pressure, Andre fires down Andre field. Jackson, that's quite a catch. Comes right down the corner here and then he goes out in the side and makes a great, I mean, the, the ball was launched from the 10. And here it is, he makes a great adjustment. Watch him make the ball adjustment right here. It's first and 10 for the Threw it over 40 the yards. Yard That's a heck of a play. Tell you what, Arthur I don't know, Foster. They have he, nothing he, to lose he, by doing that. Well, they, he's, he's pretty raw, but yeah. he's got he's some skill. I mean, uh, definitely got some talent. You can also find MCTV under channel 99. Clock's running down in the third quarter. Remember, running clock here for the second half due to the score differential. Trips right. Foster under heavy pressure. He's got plenty of room to run. He tucks it. Cuts back up and uh, hauled down for after about a nine-yard gain. Nice tackle there by Ethan Ells. Save the first down. Again, you have to protect the perimeter against a player like this. You just have to control that perimeter. And the uh, time expires here in the third quarter. Um, Arthur Hill showing some life here. Folks, the coverage of this 
uh, Dow High football game is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, sign up for an orientation class where you can learn how to get started with community television. Orientation workshops are on Saturday, October 14th and November 11th, starting at 10 a.m. Cost is just $45, which includes the annual excess user fee. You can call the number on your screen, 837-3474, to sign up or to get more information. To learn more about MCTV at www.cityofmidlandmi.gov backslash MCTV or follow us on Facebook. And there's the channels where you can tune in to uh, exciting action like today's game, the upcoming marching band showcase, the Midland Dow football game, Midland Dow volleyball game, and much, much more. First class production here uh, Midland, a uh, tremendous community with so much to offer, and MCTV, MCTV a big part of that, putting on uh, quality productions like this one. Well, I like to put a plug in for the showcase. Yeah. I went last year. Did you? It was fabulous. Was it? It's, it's a wonderful evening of uh, music and band. If you like bands, mm -hmm. and, you know, I, over the years, I never got much of a chance to watch Yeah, the you're band. in the locker room. And so I decided to go. It was wonderful. I think, uh, you know, I may have to do that. Quite a show. I've driven by and you can hear yeah. it, you know, and you hear that marching band sound, and you just get yeah, it, it, get your it, blood it, pumping. It, and all the bands are there. It's just fabulous. Well worth it. Second and one for the Lumberjacks. Handoff, and he's going to get the first down. Took a hit around the line of scrimmage and then plowed ahead. It's number one, Allen Lane, with his first carry of the game. All down to the 34-yard line. Mentioned uh, Nadia, Nadia Atten, a volleyball player at Northwood. Another, uh, some other Dow grads uh, making a splash for the Timberwolves. Justin Cook on the football team uh, scored a touchdown last week against Tiffin. And... Uh, Ashton Brooks, um, kind of a freshman phenom for our women's soccer team at Northwood, scored a hat trick today in Northwood's 3-1 uh, win against Purdue Northwest. First and 10, Lumberjacks. Foster back to pass, he's going deep, and he's got his man touchdown, a beautifully thrown ball right on the money. Had a little more time that time and uh, just put it in stride for the Lumberjack score. That was a great throw. Great throw. Speed, speed route. Came right down the sideline. Quarterback steps back, makes the throw. Beautiful throw. You know, you talk about that ball has catchable a lot balls. Of, that ball has a lot of tone on it. He was able to step that, into that, that one. That ball has a lot of tone. Well done the, by Arthur Hill. The athleticism of Arthur Hill's wideouts is exceptional. Yeah, they um, when Dow, obviously not having a great season, but they got some When Dow plays players. Arthur Hill in basketball, that athleticism is going to show yeah. a lot. It might be 55-12 <laughs> the, <other half -time. laughs> the other way? You know, the other way. Two-point conversion try is going to be no good. It was uh, tough, 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 well covered. Yeah, he was uh, really covered to the inside, so he tried to throw it out, and uh, the receiver, uh, Jackson, unable to recover. But uh, let's give Arthur Hill some credit. 55-12 now. Two touchdowns here in the, the second half on uh, impressive drives. And we'll see what the Dow offense can do. Well, we have defenders who haven't played much this year. Right. And they're back there against some very quality receivers. And the rush is not there because the out defensive right. linemen just have, are not like they should be. They're young and inexperienced. And as a result, you get this, which is good for Arthur Hill. I yeah. Mean, that's the way I look at it. 
Well, they'll kick off now. We'll see if uh, they do try the onside kick this time. Remember Ashton Brooks uh, was a kicker for Dow yes, High last was. year. Tremendous kicker, actually. She has some skills, doesn't she? Yeah. I was just quite talking to her about the, the uh, soccer, her season uh, last year today. She got nine goals for the Timberwolves wow. in ten games. So kickoff for Arthur Hill and boots it deep. Soraki's going to take no, not Soraki at the 17. Big stick. It was Sa uh, Ryan Sage on the return and uh, he took a shot. There've been a lot of big hits for Arthur Hill, but uh, Marius Mills, or excuse me, Dennis Mays that time, the big stick. Brought down by number 40. First and 10 from the 30-yard line for Dow High. Still in firm control of this one. Dow 5-1 uh, and one on the year. They get the victory tonight. Will clinch a playoff berth once again. But a nice string of uh, playoff appearances. And then uh, next week we'll play Carmen Ainsworth. Ainsworth 4-0 in the league coming into tonight's action. Well, that's going to be a big one next week, and of course, the big one two weeks from now weeks. here at the Community Stadium. Midland and Dow both uh, having tremendous seasons. Both going to be playoff teams. Midland can also clinch a playoff berth tonight at Saginaw High. Erickson's going to keep. Nice little spin move, but then uh, swarmed under. Fighting ahead. <clears throat> now we've had three consecutive high snaps, which has destroyed the whole rhythm of the play. Brought down by number 79. Lewis, Blake Hammond on the, the line for Dow now. Bill Giorno, number 65, also uh, on that front wall for Dow. For Gabe Granston, the junior, in the lineup. A little confusion here. Trying to get the play in. They may have to hustle. Under 10 I'm seconds. Not get it off. Five seconds left in the play clock. There's that shovel pass again. Cut up nicely. Still on his feet, plowing ahead. That Zach Kuhn, the place kicker. Been very busy for the place kick duties. Got the carry. He's going to pick up some positive yardage out to the 38. It'll be third and 33. Third and three for Dow. Take another look at this one. This is a nice little move here. As the ball gets snapped back, you'll see it. Coming in, there's that little toss right there. Nice cut, but just a, a very solid tackle. Erickson's going to keep it and nowhere to run. He got enveloped. Marius Mills leading the charge on that one, and uh, Dow will punt. You got to block somebody. Yeah, he had no chance, really. There's no chance. You gotta block him. You gotta block somebody. There, right there. I mean, it just, you can't get in the backfield any quicker than that. Right. Trevon Brooks on the stop. And so uh, Dow will punt. The first true punt of the game. Did a quick kick earlier. Taking his time and. Uh, Kuhn uh, going to take Arthur Hill bounce. He settled down at the uh, 40, downed by John O'Connor. Down by their own number 66, John O'Connor. To the ramp, first and 10 for the Lumberjacks. 
Another 40 yard line. 640 remaining in the contest. It's uh, 55-12, 55 nothing at halftime. We haven't seen a half, first half quite like that one <laughs> that I can remember. Yeah, that, was, uh, that was amazing. Just amazing. Arthur Hill in this half, even though they're playing against Dow's backup players, has looked much, much better than at any point they had. Yeah, they're still competing. You've got to give them that. Two receivers to the left, two to the right for Foster. Rolls to his right. Fires downfield. Got his man. Nice pass again. It's caught by Cameron Wilson. Wilson is a is a pretty good football player. He is. And that was a pretty good, that was a wonderful pass. It was a bullet yeah. right on Sprint the sideline. Sprint out here and watch, watch him make his move here. And now he squares his shoulders up. Now that was perfect form. Perfect form. Yeah, that was beautiful. Down to the 44 yard line. Foster's only a sophomore. Hope he sticks with this because he's he's got a world of potential at quarterback. Under big pressure, fires kind of threw that one away. He was under uh, heavy pressure. He might be shaking up. And he pops back up. He threw that one away smartly. He's under a heavy pressure from Blake Hammond and uh, Hammond uh, shaking up on the play. Hammond got the worst end of it. Foster's a pretty good size quarterback. Pretty big crowd here on the Dow High side. Get down and look up to it. Uh, it's it's full here. And, and surprisingly enough, they're still here. Yep. Here's a shot right here of the of the stand. That the, the place was packed. It was. Yeah. We're starting to see it empty a little bit now, but 55 nothing will do that. Second and ten. Pitch right to Wilson. Scoot. Wow, he fly. Now there, that's acceleration right there. Oh my goodness. That was wonderful acceleration. Number 13, Cameron Wilson for the Lumberjacks for the first down. Pushed out of bounds by number 17, Ryan Safe. He is quick. Okay, Boy, he so, got that so edge. So when we come out here, watch Wilson's gonna take the toss, come around this corner, and then you're gonna see this tremendous acceleration. But here's where we got to be able to protect the corners. You can't allow them to get to the perimeter. See how you're going to get inside. You got to get off those blocks. And there's got to be some secondary help coming up to make the tackle. It's a good downfield uh, block by Very Brooks. nice job. Very nice. First and 10, Arthur Hill. Back to pass. He's looking deep for Jackson, Touchdown. and he's got him. Another beautiful pass. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. That's just a big receiver going up and getting it. That, again, good position here. He's going to come back, set up, make good, good throw. Perfect throw, as a matter of fact. They give him time. He can watch the setup. Gets on his front foot. And perfect pass to an excellent receiver. So, cut it to 55 18. If uh, they get the two point conversion, it'll be to 35. Still 35. 35 or more is running 35 clock. or more. I 
I'd throw a slant pass right now. There's the slant. And there's the two-point conversion. Good call. Jackson there. again. Just, you know, a uh, good quarterback. It's a matter of getting some time. He gets a little time, and he's uh, became again, a lot more accurate. We're going to see this come right in through here. Quarterback goes back, makes a nice little setup. And here comes the slant right through the seam. Called the slant, is that who you're throwing it to, too? Yeah. 84 is a pretty good choice to throw to. Absolutely. Check out MCTV on Facebook to follow us and get up-to-date information on all programming and events at MCTV. So, Arthur Hill kickoff, 242 in the contest. You got to admire Arthur Hill. They're still in there. They, they really they do. Gave us 20 points in the second half. And they're uh, competing. They are competing. They're just, I mean, in football, you're totally outmanned on the, on the fronts. So if you're the coach for Arthur Hill, you have a positive. Hey, we won the second half. Handily. Hand easily, 20 nothing. Our defense stepped up. Our offense started to come alive. They're going to go for the onside right here. Have they, do they play Flint? Do you know? Arthur Hill? I don't know. I think, no, I think they did, and I think Flint beat them. Okay. Line drive, fielded. Right Dow still on his feet. That's, uh, that's uh, Studebaker. He's had a terrific game, but he's a good special teams player. He's been a good player all night tonight. Yeah, he really I've has. been impressed with him. Not real big. None of the Studebakers have ever been big, <laughs> but they've all been tougher than nails. 5'9", 145. But I yeah. had a, a Daryl Studebaker. Yeah. He played for me and just... Five, five, seven, one forty-five, but just tougher than nails. Yeah. Well, it looks like that runs in the family. Tonight's any indication. First and ten. Again, that shovel pass is going to cut it up, and uh, they have run that play a lot tonight. Zach Kuhn on technically the reception. You can see where a lot of guys are getting receptions because those are technically pass plays. Right, right. That's a way to that, increase that, your accuracy. That's, that's why they do it. So if there's a fumble or anything, yeah. it just it's incomplete, incomplete pass. Yep. This weekend, Norfolk University is hosting the 53rd Annual International Auto Show on its campus. Tomorrow, head to Northwood in the morning. Second and four. Then to Hobbs Stadium as the Timberwolves host Michigan Tech. We approach the final minute of the contest. Student Baker in the backfield along with Erickson. Erickson's going to keep it, and 21 again blows that play up. Second time Brooks did that to uh, that play. The left side of the line has got to block somebody. Uh, yeah. They just, they just got to block somebody. And they just stand in front of them. Third and nine, and uh, this should be the last play of the game. When you have running clock, the half goes pretty fast. Pretty fast. It's over. You don't have to run? Nope. Oh, okay. So that will be the final play and a successful homecoming for the Chargers. You had predicted likely easy um, game for Dow and uh, you'd have to say 55 nothing at half uh, was, was convincing if nothing else. Well, I was, I was pleased to see the 55. I was not pleased to see the 20 in the second half. That they gave up. I thought, okay, the, the younger players now had a chance to shine and didn't. 
but they, they got an effort to get in there, and they played well. But you know what? Arthur Hill has some talent. Yeah, they, Those receivers are talented. Yeah, they, and <laughs> there were some mismatches out there. Six, five receivers against uh, five, six defenders. And, and those guys could run, and that quarterback had a ball with tone on it. Now in the first half, he didn't get that opportunity. But in the second half, when he, when he had some time, he could throw the ball. And, and of the, course, you get, 50, you get 55 points. You're just going to back off a lot. Exactly. As the game goes on. Exactly. All right, we're going to do some highlights of the first half. Second half. Second half highlights were mostly Arthur Mark, Hill. Mostly actually. Arthur Hill. Well, this That's, is we're still we're going back to the going beginning. Back to the first. This is the first touchdown. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here, here comes the same. Uh, we had this run Doyle. by Brennan Doyle into the end zone. Good effort. Boom. Yeah, I think the this is lead. A great play by. As you can see. You can see that they have talent in the receivers. This is a good play, tipped by Caden Skinner, and a catch by uh, Perry. Perry. And it's a hook and ladder. Soraki uh, showing some good speed. Just running down the sideline untouched. It's the interception by Studebaker. And a good run here by Connor Moe. See, that's the defense right there. It's in there, makes good plays. And then this is a throw here. Caden Skinner catches the ball, and then he knows what to do with it. He gets in that end zone quickly. And here goes Perry. Uh, and this is a very nifty return. return. Lock punt. And Cody it's Hunt with the, the block. Pretty good. Yep. Nice run by Taraki there getting into the end zone. And then this is the fumble. The ball got knocked loose. And then Dow gets the ball and runs back down the sideline. Put themselves in a position. Sage with recovery sets up the TD by Austin Burlu. The TD pass to Jackson. Look at that throw right there on the money. Just can't get here. We go. Here's another setup on the money. Wow, great catch, huh? Yep. Okay. And that'll do it. So uh, congratulations to Dow High on the uh, big homecoming win, 55 to uh, 20, and uh, improves to six and one on the season, qualifying for the playoffs. A, uh, another tremendous season for Dow, and uh, they're not done yet. Big, uh, big game, big game next week. week at Carmen Ainsworth. And then two weeks from Today, the big city championship game, one of the best nights of the year in town, frankly. For sure, sporting wise, to me, any wise, because it's going to be a uh, biggest sporting event in town. There'll be 8,000 people here probably, seeing the two teams battle it out. And uh, just nothing like a Midland Dow game, especially with uh, both teams heading to the playoffs. And so uh, as the band plays to wrap this one up, the Dow High student section runs on to cheer on their team. We're going to wrap it up. Again, this is Dave Marsh and Frank Aldemore bringing you the action. Final score, Dow High 55, Arthur Hill 20. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time.
an amazing studio, fantastic equipment, and a stellar production trailer, there's no better time to become an MCTV producer or volunteer. You can even make your own television show. Check out some of our upcoming training dates and call our station to get started today. For more information on training or anything else related to MCTV or MGTV, make sure you check out the city's website and don't forget to like MCTV on Facebook.